Hey, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at the logic behind the string wheel interactable that I built using XR Toolkit. It supports both single and two handed handling and is pretty straightforward to set up. As always, we'll start by looking at the scene setup in Unity. Looking at our hierarchy, we have a pretty basic scene with a player rig and our steering wheel interactable. As you'll see on our steering wheel, we have a component of the same name. Two things to note are that I've set up the select mode to be multiple and we have an additional field here for a transform. This field will hold whatever transform we want to rotate when the interactable is being steered. Expanding the children of the steering wheel, you see that we have this parent object that I've just called pivot that's being used for my wheel transform, and some childhood primitives that I'm using to create a basic steering wheel. And that's pretty much it for the scene setup. Like I said, it's pretty basic. Now before we look at the code, let's take some time to talk about the logic behind how all this works with a quick visual example. And for this interaction, the first thing that we want to do is get any hand that's grabbing the wheel and convert its world position to a local position. This makes it easier for us to find a usable angle. For this example, our hand is going to be represented by a white circle. We then use this new local position to find a direction from the center of the interactable to the hand that's grabbed it. That's currently represented by this red ray. We then use vector 2 sine angle to find an angle between a consistent direction and the hand direction I just mentioned. This consistent direction is the green ray and is usually just the up transform of the interactable. This process gives us a float value that we can easily use to rotate the steering wheel around an axis. In other words, as our hand moves around a center point, the direction is updated, a new angle is created, and that difference in angle is applied to the rotation of the steering wheel. With all that said, let's take a look at the code that does this. First off, outside of the normal operations I just talked about, we also update the angle whenever a hand is added or removed from the steering wheel to keep a smooth look. But from process interactable on down, this is largely what we've already talked about with a couple of extra things. While the wheel is being selected, we rotate it. And we do that by getting all of the hands that are currently selecting the wheel and combining their angles. And it's much like before, we find a local point to create an artificial direction, then use vector 2 sine angle to find the angle between the newly found direction and the up direction of the transform. For the extra bit, when we're grabbing with two hands, we adjust the sensitivity of the angle created by dividing one by the number of active interactors. This lets us have more control when we're turning with two hands. You'll notice that we're also using vector 2 for our direction. This is because we don't need the depth of where our hand is in relation to the steering wheel. We just need the x and y position for figuring out the direction. But once all that's done, we just apply the difference in rotation using the rotation method of the transform and store the value for our next update. And that's it. You'll find the script via a GitHub link below. Let me know if you find it useful. If you're interested in the full project, you can find it on my Patreon. Now that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.